To put it simply, a Monteria is raw. The dogs provide a combination of tenacity, speed and muscle. The handlers are passionate and brave, willing to risk serious injury to dispatch dangerous game. Driven hunting in Germany, Hungary or France can feel formal, a suit and tie affair. In Portugal, you can find yourself on the wrong side of the tracks trying not to make eye contact with the locals. <laughs> they are the motley crew. We've got a few eyes missing. He's like the big dog, isn't he? He's a big boy. Wolf? <laughs> got wolf. Wolf, pitbull. pitbull, cross with a lurcher. What appealed to me is a, is a, a free range, total wild Monteria. So every, all the game's wild, free movement, fair chase basically. I've seen quite a few pictures of large numbers of game. It's the way they do it. It's the way they, they, they manage their, their animal populations and they do it in one hit rather than like we do, continuously stalking them and, and nibbling at them. They just come in, hit them hard, get the job done in one hit because it's less impact on everybody. So uh, yeah, excited. Got here with a, a group of uh, Danish guys, one English guy, which actually, um, I didn't know he was coming and, and I haven't seen him for 20 years. And that was quite, quite a surprise. That was good. Um, so yeah. We're, uh, I don't know, I, I just feel like a little bit sort of like apprehensive, so it's a totally new thing. Um, we're just on wild boar today, there's no, uh, no red deer here, so, but we've got these um, Egyptian mongoose. We'd, yeah, so that would be quite interesting just to see some one of these, really. Some of these dogs look like Egyptian Yeah, I do, yeah. yeah they, well, wow, they look like deputy dog. <laughs> Everything, so we have Not, a pretty sleek, um, so if you see it, shoot yes. it. That could be an interesting quarry. Yeah, but they, they don't give, they don't, they, they don't, are so phew. sleek. Yeah, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there many? Oh, there is a lot. The really? Problem, yeah. And you cannot shoot them at night. I would like to bring a 17 inch man in, because I saw a big pack of them. A pack? Big, they can pack, of oh, course, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They can yeah. mobs, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's, it would be nice to shoot them, because just basically, partridge eggs. We have a lot of partridge, but they take a lot, a lot yeah, of eggs. Yeah, yeah, of course. So it would be nice, but you cannot lump in Portugal, you cannot shoot. A 17 HMR is illegal in Portugal. 2-2 two, two is difficult to keep. So, so there's no, no like, uh, vermin control at night at all? No. No? No, no foxes? No. Or everything daytime? It has to be daytime, yeah. yeah, yeah. And these dogs look crazy. They look like some... They, they yeah, look... It's, it's funny that they, even you're going to hear it, when they do drive to the post, they are very quiet, unless it's a young pup. Yeah. But it's when they open the, the, the gates Doors, that bang. they go, they, they know look... what they are going for. Yeah, mm. they look like they've done a bit. They, they look like <laughs> they're well-seasoned uh, yeah, professionals, they, yeah. They didn't do it. But the first time I saw a pack of them running towards me, I, I was really <laughs> honest, I thought, mm, okay, yeah. but they just go through. They don't care for you, they don't want a pet. They don't no, want you not to, interested. to just touch to hunt, it. Hunt, just hunt, 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 yeah, hunt. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. We'll see. We'll yeah, it'll be we'll, good, yeah. yeah. Hopefully yeah. we'll get lucky well, and get a few shots. I don't care if you hit them. Why do you take the shooting and you miss? You can always take the... Then make a little bit, you yeah, know. Perfect, the shot yeah. has to go out. Yeah. <laughs> Looking forward to it. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> I like it, I like it. We've got like a pond down there. And obviously all this wallowing and stuff here through here. I like it because we're like we're, we're off the ground a little bit. We can wake up in this bank because obviously I'm gonna shoot perfectly, not wound anything, it's not gonna gore us. I don't want a board to come in and smash the cameraman, not a problem. But I want to keep safe. But uh, Got all that bank. It's good, it feels good, it feels really good. Thick, thick vegetation. Got a bit of a, we're using the old 6.5, 6.5 grade more, 156 grain. And uh, there's talk on the back of the uh, the wagon on the way up, there's a, a Portuguese guy. And he said, ah, oh, these boys are very, very tough. They are big, strong, muscular. I shot one and I use a, a 375 or um, 700, all these big, big calibers. So there's a couple of guys on there using 308s, I think, but I think we'll be fine. We'll be fine.
Any? <laughs> I don't know. This is like the roller coaster ride you do every time you do driven ball. I reckon there'll be at least two up there. Maybe one. <laughs> Who heard them first? Uh, David? Oh, you, yes. You are well, you, the hunter's friend. The thing is, you, don't, you go on so many hunts. You're never in the country, you're always on holiday. <laughs> oh, there's another one. Um, no, you did, David. Oh, yeah, back on this one down here now, okay. Here we go, here we go. Come on, boys. Here we go. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Go on. Get him, get him. Go on. Paul takes two shots and the dogs make sure. These guys are doing it to, to control the population, 100%. Obviously we're doing a bit, bit of sport as well, but the dogs are designed to chase, catch and kill. He's a big boy, he's got the strength in the head look to kill, but he's got the speed. Fit dog as well, look at that, that's a fit dog. Looks thick in your thing. At the end of the drive, we take a walk along the track the pigs took at the very start. There is no blood trail, but Paul did make Hello. contact with the smaller, faster animal. So we've been for a scan yeah. at the top, there's nothing at the top. Yeah, we went for a good look, and uh, the reason we did, because we see this one, we shot him in the bush here. I did a follow-up shot, which I missed, but that pig didn't look, there's no reaction. He's running through the bushes, no reaction at all, and as you see, he's hit, you know, this is the side we shot, and uh, there's a bullet hole, there look. Quite chuffed that really, because under pressure with the dogs behind it, obviously when you've got dogs milling around everywhere, you're, you're focusing on the dogs as much as you're focusing on the shot. So obviously safety first for the dogs, and we got one, Whew, a lot of pressure. And it's really deceiving, it looks quite nice and clear. We've just been up there and it is like thick jungle, and there's wallows and, and places where they've been sleeping everywhere through there. And uh, it's hard to get through, isn't it? It was, it was serious. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that was good, good result. So that was the warm up bit, was it at the top? Yeah, that was the warm up <laughs> act. I got my eye in, but again, it's deceiving. I did bring my range finders and I didn't range find it because I thought, well, that's 70 yards, that's simple. But we got up there and it was 120, 130. And just again, deceiving, really deceiving because normally I'm on the money with, with distances, but but I think it wasn't actually do anything to do with distance or anything else. The person to blame is this one, not the equipment, anything else. Not me. No, actually, you, you got me too excited because it's coming, it's coming, they're coming. Like, I know, I can hear them. Though. You did a good job there, David. You did, you did spot them well today, again. So, uh, yeah. No, chuff for that, really good. Good start. <laughs> we head off across the farm, picking up the other hunters. There are plenty of boar on the ground, including some that look to have a touch of old spot. So this one looks like it's, it's sort of closer to your neck of the woods, back home. Gloucester three spot. <laughs> look at that, look. We shot well, right in the front end. Perfect shot. So how many have been shot today? Well, they say they're talking about 35. Um, 35 boar, quite a few foxes actually, a lot of foxes at this end. This is quite a nice end because you've got this guy who stood here, he's got a nice big open spots, so he can get a bit, a bit of a line on him. Um, not making excuses, but, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, perfect. Yeah, he's got 35, so I reckon that's brilliant. Everyone's seen, a, seen something or could have had the chance so far anyway, so uh, and you always get lucky guys, you get you know three in the bag, so cream on the cake. Well, they're Scandinavians, aren't they? They're Danish, so they're, they know what they're doing. Oh yeah, these boys, yeah, quite a lot of them have been here before, so they know the, the format and the run of it. We rendezvous where we started, near the restaurant. It's impressive considering it is an open farm. Serge points out the male-to-female ratio, which is indicative of a free-range area. 
on a property like that, you will not see more than two Tuscas, right, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. Because the same as we hold have... The, hold the area. Exactly. Yeah. 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 That one would be the one that will hope one day to take the place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that will be the boss. Yeah, the big dog, yeah. So if, if, we, if we were going to see here five, six, seven Tuscas, yeah. that would be a big fence around it. But yeah, that's exactly. completely free. Completely Organic, yes. Yeah, yeah. There's, no, there's no fencing, there's so nothing. So it's like you see... Got the, got the the big male, yeah. the second in command, or thereabouts, yeah. and you've got the females, the females yeah. and then there's like the frizzlings, like the frizzlings, yeah, they call it, yeah. And that's the, the youngster, the youngsters. Yeah. But that's, that's, that's normally what you see yeah. on organic place, you yeah, know, yeah. with yeah. no fencing. So yeah. Because if you have a fencing, it's easy to put that yeah, five, course, six, course. seven yeah, 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 tuskers, yeah. you know. And we only shoot that place once a year, and that's it. There's yeah. no more no more shooting that's there. It, for the, the that's it, yeah, 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 that's it. So what happens to all these now, then? No. So that way you'll be a, a vet and a, the, the, a big refrigerated truck yeah. comes in and they'll process everything. We cannot clean the deer in the field, the deer or the boar. Yeah, yeah. You cannot, cannot be done. has to be done here yeah, yeah. and the vet has to check Respect every single one. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So for disease and then she says, yes, clear, clear, clear. Yeah. No, and that has to go to the separate place. Yeah. Uh, and then everything goes to Spain. Spain, yeah. really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. so yeah. The, the, the Lord will come, collect them, take off the interior, the yeah. guts and then process, as you see, they are putting labels yeah, for yeah. every single every one has to know. Up, yeah. They have to put in that tag, they have to know if there is a male, a female, yeah. um, more or less the year. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then the boys come in, a big lorry, refrigerated, they clean that in, in no time, yeah. and then everything goes to Spain. Yeah. Same yeah. with the deer as well? Same with the everything. We don't have a, um, um, a, tree, uh, a plant that processes game in Portugal, so right, yeah. a lot of stuff goes to Spain, yeah. and then if you want to buy a Portuguese you want to buy, come back in. Really, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Wow. It's been a great day. Yeah, yeah. Food. yeah that's, you like yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, it's been great, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Food special. <laughs> so, it's been great. Yeah. yeah. Every day is school day and Paul has definitely learned a lot about free-range Portuguese Monterias. And there's more to come. Next time we complete the trip at a boar-affected cattle farm and a plantation full of reds. If you'd like to join Sergio and Tiago for all sorts of Portuguese and UK hunting packages, go to circuitwildharvest.com. You'd be lucky to find a duo that try harder and have a better hunting philosophy. And if you'd like to find out more about Sacco rifles and bullets, go to sacco.fi.